You made a comment before and you said that you found doing jail time easier than doing studio time at death row. What you mean by that? Bro, you can take you can take when I when I say something to you, you can take that shit for the most part, literally, right? When they locked me up in Texas. I was scared as hell at first, cause that that's not me. I wasn't made for that. Uh, but when they took me down there, um, hell, I knew most of the cats that was down there, and and the ones I didn't know was happy to see DOC in there, you know. And so it wasn't as bad as I thought, you know. Uh, but in California, um. You know, it's diametrically opposed to that feeling because going in, going into the studio every day felt like, uh, you know, you just didn't know what the hell was going to happen. And I, most of the time, that's why I had to be loaded to go because I just, uh, I didn't feel comfortable. I'm not a gangster, not a gangbanger. That's not my element. Those ain't my people. How they, you know, how they think and move. Ain't, ain't how I think and move. Uh, uh, even though it was, some, it was some good dudes in there, just by virtue of where they coming from and what's on their mind, there's some dirty motherfuckers in there, you know, and uh, you just got to watch yourself all the time. And I didn't like, I really didn't like being around it, to be honest, but that's what the music was. So when you came around Death Row, you had to worry about your own safety. You had to have a gun on you, even though you was an artist on the label. That's insane, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause you never knew, you know. Um, sure gave me a forty-five. <laughs> I know I didn't. I didn't have no reason for having no goddamn gun. I what am I gonna? But look at it, that that gun almost got me sent to the penitentiary in L.A. Now if that would have happened, you probably could have just canceled my my Christmas cards. Uh, but he gave me a forty-five. It was a nice looking gun too. Chrome gun that had a like a nickel thing on it, and I took it. You know, took the gun home. It was had it wherever I went. When I lost my house and moved in with Snoop, I had the gun in in, in Snoop's crib, and I can remember Daz and Nate was downstairs at that apartment building, and they had gotten into it with some some. Guys, I was in the street down there. Daggy, Daz yells up, Doc, these niggas down there tripping, bring the gun, cuz. Now, I ain't got no motherfucking reason taking no weapon outside, but I did it. You know, I felt like these is my guys and I'm supposed to do that. And and I, I'm taking penitentiary chances with the rest of my life behind some shit that I don't even know what the fuck is going on. But I took the weapon down there. And thankfully, when I went down there, the niggas rolled off, and I could take my ass back in the house. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, I fear, you, you, I don't know if fear is the right word, but you're always aware of your surroundings that something can happen at any time.